1929. All the hope and promise and illusion of the 20s converged in that one year. The United States is afflicted with new eras. Let us not think for a moment that the uh, illusion, the uh, aberration of the 1920s was unique. It is intimately a part of the American character. The mood of the era, I think, can best be remembered by the hit song. Was that 1929, uh, Blue Skies? In the 20s, yes. Blue Skies. Smiling at go? me. Yeah. Nothing, nothing but, but blue, blue skies, skies do, I, do see. I see. Yes. Never saw the sun shining so bright. Never saw things going so right. Gray days, all of them gone. Nothing but blue skies from the moon. Nothing but that was the whole uh, tenor of the day. I mean, people believed that everything was going to be great always. Always. There was a feeling of optimism in the air that you cannot even describe today. And everybody seemed to... Uh have uh, an interest in the stock market. Certainly the uh, boot black, uh, the tailor, the grocer uh, own shares of one kind or another. This was the first time that many ordinary Americans had begun to invest in stocks. A stock, a share of a company, is bought and sold here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. The stocks themselves have no fixed value. As in an auction, if the stock is in demand, its price goes up. No demand, and the price goes down. For almost eight straight years, stock values had been rising. By 1929, there seemed to be no upper limits in this world of paper, numbers, and dreams. It was an arena of unbounded opportunity, where somebody like my grandfather could come into it and make a fortune. So many people made so much money in the, the market that late in the 20s, it, it seemed that uh, you just couldn't go wrong buying stocks in American companies. Here was a whole new way to make a fortune. Unlike the Carnegies and the Rockefellers of previous decades who built steel mills and dug oil wells, men like Michael Meehan, Jesse Livermore, and Charles Mitchell had amassed their fortunes buying and selling stocks, pieces of paper. The public was fascinated. Bankers, brokers, and speculators had become celebrities, and they lived like royalty. I can hardly believe that a family 